Hello everyone, good morning. My name is Richard N and today I would like us to explore um, this uh, project management tool called uh, Asana. Um, I know this is one of the most important and most powerful project management or task management tool out there after monday.com, um, after ClickUp and possibly um, Trello. So we just want to explore it and have an overview and then we're going to create our first project <clears throat> so that you can see how it's done. So, but before then, we're going to see um, the overview, the home screen of Asana. This is just what it looks like. And then here you're going to see your, maybe your recent tasks. As soon as, you know, as soon as they start coming, you're going to see them here. And then you're going to have your inbox and we're going to talk about the inside but before then um this remains your one and only fast kidding youtube channel and i encourage you to like and subscribe to our channel and also utilize the notification bell so that whenever we post new new videos you're going to be the first to know so um we're still talking about um asana and the truth is that a lot of people don't actually know that asana is one of the most simplest and one of the most easiest um, project management tool to use um, compared to the others. And we have the insights here, which is probably where you see and uh, maybe uh, maybe a quick overview of all that has been going on, all you've been doing. So when you click here, you're going to find that oh, this is actually everything that has been going on here: your completed task, your incomplete task, your overdue task, and total tasks on you know on the way then you are you know it's going to give you some statistics some some um, some some rendering on how you know how it all looks like this is some charts and pies and all that and then this is your portfolio probably you are trying to maybe show up some work your work history and all of that you're going to see it all here you can create a portfolio with this and then if you have any goals to achieve this way you're going to find it and then we have starred Start comes up when you make any of the projects here your favorites. You can come to these projects and then you can start it. When you start it, you have it under your start as you can see. But I don't want this here, so I'm just going to take it off. So I don't want it there. And then after the start, we have the project, which is where the magic happens on a um platform. So this, uh, just as we have on monday.com we have it as workspace on uh, on a uh, click up we have it as spaces and then i think on um, on trello we have it as board but here we have it as project so when you click on this plus it allows you to add new projects when you add new project you can actually start maybe with a template you can start with a blank project or you can import from um from a spreadsheet but let's make it easy for us if you want it to be easy for you as well you can always use an existing template so it doesn't uh, maybe become too difficult for you so when you want to use a template you're going to choose do you want it to be on the list form or on the board form i always love to use anyone because i know i can always toggle between uh, maybe list and boards that is what these tools helps us to achieve without any sweats so i'm going to choose this uh this uh, this template here and um, for me to use it I just have to click on use templates and then I have to name what I want to do uh, let's say I want to bake uh, okay, let's say I want to build a school or let's say I want to build uh, a factory or let's say I want to do solar installation so let's call it solar uh, solar installation yeah, solar installation is going to be our projects and I just it. click on create projects and then you see it's going to come up here as solar installation okay mind you you can also change the, the kind of color or the kind of link you want it to be like um, I just make it something nice because it is power let me use this gear and then let me make it a bit of red or let's make it blue yeah so this is my solar installation uh, uh, project and as you know it's all about making tasks on it <clears throat> and these are the stages we have planning we have milestone we have next steps we have comes plan but none of that really matters i just want to say 
this one is <coughs> site site location please <coughs> excuse me so let's say site location and then we're going to have we're going to have um purchases uh, purchases of the items you're going to use maybe the fittings for it and then you're going to have um installation it could be something much more i don't know i'm not a solar tech guy so here we can put tech okay uh, we can put done showing that we are already done with whatever we had to do for you know from here or down here so you see now we're going to put site location say okay select uh select the the app uh, app uh, appropriate site for the for the installation and that is one and then maybe you're probably going to um say <clears throat> ensure it oops sorry guys so we're going to click on add task and then say ensure or uh, check with the owner to be sure the site is suitable and I explain why like you just want to tell the site owner or maybe the person giving you the contract that this place is appropriate because this is where the sun maxes out you know so we're gonna call it uh, so this we are going to consider on the site location and then purchases so when you come to purchases it's okay um buy all fittings and then under these fittings you can actually make it the primary thing there and because it's the primary thing you want to add more details you can even add a subtask you can add a detail say okay um buy all items from the uh, biggest solar shop in the city yeah you want them to maybe go to one particular place and buy all item but then what are these items you say we have batteries we have panels say okay we have uh, solar panels and then we're gonna have uh, wires we have the inverter um, we're going to have uh, switches switches and other controls you see switches and controls so these are the things you just want them to be aware of so you can save that and then you see we have not added anybody yet because we're still coming up with this uh, for now so we're going to buy all the fittings and uh, we're going to now we can add a new one say okay after buying all the fittings what happens um uh bring to the storehouse then after bringing to the storehouse uh, gather the team and head to site yeah these are going to be tasks from different you know for different people on your team and as you know this is just a kind of um you know stuff that we i think this also look alike what we do on monday.com when we did monday.com so the only thing there is just a difference in name like here we have project monday.com we have workspaces and then on click up we have spaces so that's just what it is it's nothing so uh, difficult it's nothing that cannot be done so as usual we have a signee but you know on monday.com a signee is a little bit far off what we have here is the comments and then we have the the i think the the the, the nature of this thing and all that so we here now we have priority which tells us how sensitive the job is and then we have the task progress which as well is the progress or the status as we have it on monday.com so this is just the difference here so uh, now what you do next is to assign everything you need to assign here first of all we're going to start assigning um, people to this task so now that we're done with purchases let's go over to installation now you're going to go with the team as we've specified there so ensure all fittings are uh, um, 
are brought to site. Show all fittings are brought to site. You're going to maybe you're going to give your form on this task and then installation. Uh, ensure all tools are uh, taken along with the team and all of that. So let's just you know, let's just log, leave it like this, and then you're gonna test your connections after install installation yes then you're gonna brief brief the house owner or the client brief the client on how to use this system yeah this is what uh, we're going to do on this project so now because you know we are doing um, um, projects here you're going to have to assign people to this project and these are people you normally assign you see here i have people here so we just have we are going to assign to this so we have assignees here you bring out your team so who are the team we see this guy so you check with the owner of this stuff then we're going to assign to this guy and then this one is another task we're assigned to this guy and then this we're going to assign this to maybe you know some some tasks are very sensitive so we have to assign to people who know that uh rugged and understand the job perfectly we don't want to go out there and make a mess so if you know the job is sensitive assign it only to the most sensitive guy or to the most sensible guy on the team don't give it to someone that doesn't understand the system or how the job works so we are done assigning these tasks to everybody then now we're going to assign due dates yes we're going to assign due dates these things can be done maybe on um, maybe just maybe maybe daily tasks so we can have this assigned to somebody on Sunday, just to bring to the store. Doesn't need uh, to bring off it in buy. Okay, buy off it in Sundays. Don't usually have market, so we can change it and put it on Monday, uh, the first day of uh, April. Then we can say, okay, bring everything to the store, and we can do the same thing on Monday. We probably you, you are done buying it and take it to the store, and then say gather the team and head to sites. Let's do this on Tuesday. See, and then um we're gonna do that on tuesday and then we say ensure fittings are ready it is of course since they are going to be installing the stuff on tuesday we can do all this on tuesday then everything here is just on tuesday because installation doesn't really uh take much of time something that can be done maybe just within hours and yeah okay so then we need to do the priority section where we assign you know which means us telling somebody that this is a very sensitive something so this one is medium, but don't, it's, it's nothing really, really important here. So, so check with the owner, this does not require anything much. So buy off it things, you can tag this, say very, very high priority because you don't want to buy the wrong stuff. So if you know you don't know how to buy the stuff, don't go there, don't assign the wrong person to that job. Then bring to the store, should be medium. You want to be sure that nothing is broken. So gather the team and head to the site. This is someone that is very very uh powerful maybe a very powerful maybe an old team member so we say ensure all tools are taken along with the team this is going to be medium test your connection after installation this is high sensitivity because we want to talk uh, you know we want to make sure that the person understands then this part where we say we don't really need this here so we gotta delete it yeah it's out so now let us talk about the task progress or the status so this we can say okay this is not started yet uh, this is in maybe check with the owner maybe if, but if you haven't done this you can't do the other one so we can say okay this is done and then we can say okay uh, gather the team member probably uh maybe this thing we are waiting for the other guy to return from the market so test connection we can say okay in progress because we are testing it then brief the uh so it's not started because everything here depends on the other so you see now we've been able to do what we've been able to 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 set up all of this task on asana this is just what it is if you understand how how money.com how uh, clickup works it's just the same thing here and if you're worried about the views uh, maybe you i'm using the list view maybe you, you prefer the board view it's still simple you can as well click here you see Everything is just here. There's nothing serious here. You can just drag it all, change it, and all of that, you know. And then once you're done, you say done. Just click on done. And this is it on Asana. On a new video, 
I'm going to do uh, maybe an automation for all of this where we're going to receive messages on maybe either our Slack. Whenever something happens to any of these tasks here, if maybe like if someone comes and changes the status or send a new person the task, we can get <clears throat> a message on our Slack or any other channel that something has been done and that is done within this workflow. So this is just it on on Asana. This is just a basic uh, uh, a basic project on Asana. And if you are very, very new, please, I encourage you to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Share our videos with any guys, ladies, you know, who are interested on this. As we make it very simple for you to understand how to use these tools. Yes, so ensure you are with us. You share our video. You, 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 you make sure that other people also see this. As this will help us to know that this is important and that we're going to make more interesting videos. So... I thank you for coming today for for watching up to this point um please make sure that you don't forget to like this video so see you next time bye, -bye.